Astro provides an image component that allows you to deliver optimized images. But with Cloudinary, we can tap into intelligent optimization with AI and other features that Astro doesn't support. So in this video, we'll be learning how to use Cloudinary with Astro's image component. The Astro image component comes out of the box with some features that helps with working with images in an Astro project. But this component also supports delivering images from CDNs like Cloudinary. And with Cloudinary, you get automatic optimization that not only delivers optimized images, but also delivers the most efficient formats for those images and the device the images are loaded on. Cloudinary also includes many other features for transformation, background removal, and so much more. So let's see how to get started uh, with using Cloudinary with the Astro image component. I have my Astro project running and I have this local image here. I can use this local image by importing it, using it on the image component. This is going to load here. Clearly this image is jpg but if i open the network tab you can see it's now in the webp format also to avoid cumulative layout shift astro gets the dimension for this image and applies the width and height accordingly but we can also come here to specify a width of 300 and we also get this along with lazy loading and other optimizations but let's say we had this same image here on Cloudinary and we apply the URL directly. So here for this source, I'm going to apply this URL. I'll also open my Astro config to set up an authorized image source. And if I come here, I also need to specify a height so I can specify a height of 300. Now I have this remote image coming from Cloudinary. One more thing I want to do is to bypass the Astro optimization layer. So Astro runs the images through their own processing pipeline, which in my case is unnecessary because now I'm going to get optimization from Cloudinary and then I also get optimization on the image component and doing a lot of optimizations can affect the quality of the image as you can already notice. So to deliver the best format and optimized image from Cloudinary, I'm going to come here and also import pass through image service and I can come here and call pass through image service. Now I'm going to have only Cloudinary doing the optimization and you probably already noticed that the image now has better quality. But then there is more we can do with Cloudinary and this is how we can use the Cloudinary URL generation SDK. So we can install this SDK and when this is installed we can now use it in our Astro project. Here I'm going to create a component called CLD image and then I import a couple of things from the Cloudinary URL Gen SDK, which we're going to use in a second. Then I can set up my Cloudinary instance by using my cloud name. Then here I can call ciw.image and pass my public ID. And down here I can get the image URL. I can then apply that image source to the image component. I also have some demo images I'm going to be using here. I have some for products and I have some for people when I got these images from on splash so coming back to this index i can import the product and the people and i can comment this local image for now and let's see an example with products i also need to import cl the image and here i have my images and if we check the network tab you can see that this first image it has a format of jpg and a file size of 1.66 mb but if you come here you can see that this image now has the webp format which is the best format for my device and it has a lower file size but we can do more with cloudinary so here i can apply transformation on the products where i do a resizing of the product and I have this overlay text sold and some style for that text and I also position that text at the center and now we have this text on all the images now let's see some examples for people so I'll come here now on command people images that I have here. Now coming back here, I still have my auto format and quality. I can also apply this transformation for people, which is going to apply a gravity and we focus on the face of the people. So if I should comment this line again, you see that the subjects are at different angles, but then by applying that gravity, focusing on the face, they are all positioned to the center. Another thing I can do is apply effects and filters. So here I apply a pixelate effect 
effect and a blur effect and you can see how it looks like here all of this is coming from cloudinary now one thing you notice is that from the network tab you can see the images coming from the astro image component if you wanted it to come directly from cloudinary then you can refer to the image service api documentation and if you scroll to this section on external services then you'll be able to set up a service that points to the cloudinary remote url also stay tuned as we look into releasing a community package for astro in the future you can get such updates on the cloudinary community github page next up let's see how we can use cloudinary to remove the background from our images.